Prussian blue is an extremely interesting compound. It's the world's second oldest pigment, first made in Germany in 1706. It contains an iron complex that has six cyanide ions, yet its toxicity is less than sodium chloride, aka table salt, and it's on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines because it is used to treat thallium and radioactive cesium poisoning. Hi, I'm Scott from ChemTalk, chemistrytalk.org, and today I'm going to show you how to make Prussian blue, how to photograph it, and how to paint with it. Making it is quite simple. You combine potassium ferrocyanide with an iron-3 compound. We use ferric chloride. We measured out 5 grams of potassium ferrocyanide into a 250 milliliter flask and added 175 milliliters of distilled water. We gave it a good stirring with our trusty iron spoon. Then the ChemTalk lab assistant tripped in our ferric chloride solution with a syringe. Hi, I'm Ryan, the ChemTalk lab assistant. I'm gonna add the ferric chloride to the potassium ferrocyanide. Ferric chloride with the syringe. You can see it's a nice reddish brown rust color. So move it over here and then we add in a few drops. Whoa, look at that blue. That's really cool. Dark blue ferric ferrocyanide precipitated out. The precipitate is very heavy and mushy and you'll want to filter it through a coffee filter as it has been known to clog filter paper. Ferric ferrocyanide has a unique ability to absorb monovalent ions like sodium, potassium, cesium, and thallium. Which means every time you make Prussian blue, what you end up will be a little different. That is why it is used to treat thallium and radioactive cesium poisoning. It can absorb those ions into the complex. The complex between iron, two, and six cyanide ions, the ferrocyanide ion, is extremely stable and is in fact the most stable iron complex. Your body tolerates the iron quite well, which is why sodium chloride has a higher toxicity in rats than ferric ferrocyanide does. Now this will take a long time to dry. I spread the coffee filter out over paper towels and let it sit for a few days in a dry environment. Then. I put on gloves and literally peeled the dried Prussian blue off the coffee filter into a paper cup. I then transferred, transferred it into a porcelain mortar and crushed it with a pestle until it was a fine powder. I wanted a nice photograph of it, so I made a mound of the powder on white paper and photographed it in with a bright background. In Lightroom, I had to increase the luminosity of the blues because it came out so dark. Making oil paint was very simple. I picked up some boiled linseed oil from Home Depot and mixed it up with a pigment in a plastic cup. It was easy to paint with, although it looked more black than blue. It was more blue when it was in the mortar, so it may have darkened sitting out in the air for a few days. I'm not much of a painter, so I let other members of the family do the painting. And in case you didn't learn enough about Prussian blue today, it's also used in the cyanotype process to make copies of architectural drawings known as a blueprint. It's what makes blueprints blue. We'll try that process in a later video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this easy experiment. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and visit our website at chemistrytalk.org. Thanks.